Yeah, it's another rainy day in Wonderland. So, when it rains, you make tomato sauce. Yeah, I know some of them look like crap, but you know, it's end of season. I just wanted to like, I have some monsters I grew this year. Some, only a few. Most of mine are average size. So I got my handy dandy scale here. It's in pounds because I'm Canadian and I don't understand grams. <laughs> I'm such an old person. <laughs> so that one weighs in at one pound, just over a pound. Almost, a, yeah, one pound, 12 ounces. Wow, that's almost two pounds. That's a hefty guy. That is a uh, true black brandy wine, if I'm not mistaken. This guy is a big rainbow. Yeah, almost two pounds also, well, he's massive. There's his big brother here. This guy should be more. Yeah. Just over two pounds. That's the biggest tomato I've ever grown. Of course, not to be forgotten, I have these Italian special red pear tomatoes too. That one's a pound. And this guy here. This is, yeah, he looks real shitty there. This is an Amish paste. And he weighs a pound also. I've never had paste tomatoes that grow that big. I'm growing those next year. I already made a little. Those are the ones, 12 varieties that I'm saving to grow uh, next year, so. I'm letting these guys get really ripe and then I'll get their seeds and then I'm going to uh, store them for next year's crops. He looks really bad too, but that's only because it's like, whatever, I just want your seeds. But I have, uh, it's a beef, there's a beefsteak, that's a Granny Cantrell. This is a red brandy wine, the Amish paste, the Italian special red pear. A Rio Grande, that's a uh, paste tomato also. This is a Peron, that's a, um, we call this El Presidente. They're um, heirlooms from Argentina. Juan's Argentinian, so of course I have to have an Argentinian tomato. Uh, that's my beefsteak. This is a Pantano Romanesco. And then last but not least, this is Kim's compost. I had a tomato grow out of, um, my compost bin last year, some of them ripened, so I saved the seeds, and I grew tomatoes from it this year, and they actually turned out quite nice, and they're actually like flavorful, and they actually really smell beautiful. So I'm gonna continue on the tradition, even though there is another stupid tomato plant growing out of the compost bin again this year that I think if it ripens, I will save the seeds. Those are my paste tomatoes. Um, making two different sauces. First I'm going to cut up all the heirloom tomatoes and make a specific sauce from them and then I'll make a little batch of uh, plum tomato sauce. I did get a pumpkin this year. One cute little pumpkin. There's a few others growing in the garden. I got a couple of vegetable squashes and I forget what that other squash is. Uh, some more tomatoes that are ripening right there and there are more in the garden too I think I have maybe enough to do one or two more canning sessions for sure one for sure I gave all the tomatoes a haircut took off most of their foliage because I don't want them to grow I just want them to ripen whatever tomatoes are on plants now but time's a wasting and I got tons of tomatoes to cut up and pulverize for sauce Thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. We'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao.